planetary orbits. All stars and planets have orbits. For centuries it was believed that Earth is fixed and the Sun, Moon and planets revolve around it. However 1400 years ago the Quran said that not only the Sun and Moon but also Earth moves in a designated path. خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق يكور الليل على النهار ويكور النهار على الليل وسخر الشمس والقمر كل يجري لأجل مسمى ألا هو العزيز الغفار ألا created the heavens and the earth in truth he overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night, and enslaved the sun and the moon, all move, comma to a pre-recorded destiny. Is he not the exalted, the forgiver? Here the Quran is referring to all moving, not only the sun and moon but also earth. In Arabic grammar there is difference between the singular, one, binary, two, and plural, three or more. The reference to binary is Kula Huma Yajri and however the Quran said Kalam Yajri referring to the plural, three or more. Since the sun and moon are just two but the Quran is referring to three or more then according to the Quran all the three move sun, moon and earth. Quran 86.11 and the sky that returns. al raj in Arabic means returns to the same location. We already know that all planets return to the same locations in their respective orbits. This is confirmed. But there is also another characteristic of the universe, however is still theoretical, that is if you continue in a straight line in the universe you will eventually approach from behind and end up where you started. It depends on the topology of the universe and how it is connected. The Christian Bible says that earth is a two-dimensional flat disk and the heaven is like a canopy solid like bronze. How could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that planets return to their original locations? <laughs>